Hi guys, Rick Day with the Cowtown USA, showing our newest trailer here that come from Murhau. Uh, all aluminum, eight wide, seven six tall. I mean, guys, look, this trailer is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I'm gonna bring it here and show you what we're talking about. Spare tire and wheel, aluminum at that. Dual hydraulic jacks, dual propane, dual batteries. Your neck is sprayed with a with a rubber. Uh, bed liner type material. I mean, look how this dude's put together. Yeah, we'll back you out here. Notice it's got your corrugated sides. Run from the front all the way to the back. How uh, it changes the appearance of that. Okay, then you have your power awning. Just touch the switch, it rolls in, rolls out. Big, nice, and massive windows over the over the top of uh, or beside your bed. I should have mentioned the stainless steel nose. Bring it up here where you can actually see this. Come over here. Got your grab handle. Got your, got your uh, rain tray on the top of this. Top of your door. Got your light. That's the length of, runs the length of your camper. Right here. You got the back side for your water heater. Back side for your refrigerator. Come right here. You need power out here. 110 out here on the side of it. Fresh water connection there as well. Let's come here. Get your LED lights and your outside radio speakers. This is a, looks like a, a pearl type uh, metallic gray. Okay, it's got your uh, drop down butt windows. And these are all handmade windows. This is not something they order from a uh, manufacturer. I mean, they make these in house. Go ahead and close it, John. Okay, now open it for them. I mean, you don't have to be six foot three to open and close this door. Me and Sean are not, but we reach it all right. Again, your aluminum wheels. These are. Uh, I mean, this is the best of the best. 17.5, 16 ply radials. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. Let me show you this. This is your Torflex Dexter axles. Uh, this is equipped with. Um, well, here's here's the deal too. With Dexter axles, the advantage of buying a turf Dexter axles is this is it's like buying Chevrolet, Ford, Dodge. They got Dexter axle. Uh, stores uh, yeah your repair shop this is something that, that is a common axle across the nation I'd like to tell you that Dexter's the only one had this but if they don't now the advantage of this is if you do have a problem I'm not saying you ever would but if you do have your local store where you where where you could be broke down it will have parts for Dexter now they put other brands of accident these trailers and if they do you could probably have the parts within a week, or you could probably have them aired in uh, overnight or something like this. But with Dexter, the axles will probably be there. We're going to step in here to the horse compartment of this. First thing you're going to notice is butt pads. I mean, this is this is pretty slick. I'm going to swing this around here and show you. This is a four horse. You're fully insulated. You're seven six tall. The rings around your uh, two-way vents keep your horse's heads from getting hurt. You have the full flow-through system. Now they can't get to each other, but the air that comes to the front will make it all the way to the back. You have a really nice uh, manger or feed trough, whatever you want to call it, with the, with the storage underneath. You got that. You got dual dual uh, horse ties. So this is not for you to tie two horses, but you might want to put a feed bag. You might want to hang something up here. You can do that as well. You got a collapsible rear tack. We'll show you that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here's something pretty neat. You know, we got a step here. How do you reach that top? Well, we got a step that flips up behind the uh, behind the door. This is also your your wall here is collapsible, and the saddle racks are not only uh, removable but they are adjustable. If you want to move them down lower, you can. Your wall. Is all covered. You've seen these these campers or or trailers, and seen where the bridles and turned everything black. And it turned and these aluminum walls turns the bridles and halters everything black. This does away with that. 
Here you got a swing out, uh, four swing out blanket bars, and this wall is also double walled and covered as well. Got your rubber bumper here for loading the horses. Now, I don't know if you can hear that running or not, but we have a, a, a generator sitting up here on top of this, and a real nice uh, aerodynamic hay rack, and a, and a uh, LED load light here on this side. Notice how wide this door is too. I'll back this up and show you this. You know, you can you can load draft horses, a full wheeler, I mean, will fit through that door. Okay, you're gonna come around here. Sean's got all the major doors open here for you. <coughs> Again, bars for your horses. Uh, an LED uh, load light here on this, this side. Uh, you know, Sean, I didn't mention this, but these tires are called are nitrogen filled. The nitrogen filled tires, all that means to you is they say that the tires will last 30% longer if they have nitrogen in them. They run cooler. Uh, and they don't fluctuate like we were, like a lot of that does. You go out there and have a low tire when the temperature changes, it doesn't affect nitrogen. Okay, this has, uh, on this particular trailer, you never have to adjust the brakes on it. This this is something that's been out the last few years. Uh, it's also equipped with Easy Lube hubs. Uh, it says only lithium, only lithium grease. So, uh, very simple, very easy to operate. Okay, here again, you know, the inside of the manger is all lined. That's pretty cool there too, guys. A lot more, lot more storage. Now, Sean's got the escape door open here in front of the first horse. Uh, I mean, if you get an emergency and need to get him out, you can. Uh, but you can actually use this for an escape door or a back door for when, when you're camping or trail riding. That has a deadbolt system on it, so when you go in at night, you can, you can lock that door. Uh, you got a pass-through door here once you go in, so you can kick your, your muddy boots and whatever off in here and then enter your uh, your living quarters through there. We have This is equipped with a step here that you can see that as well. I'll give you a view of the slide out. This has what's called a super slide on it. Inside there has a couch and a dinette that uh, that slides out. You'll, you'll see that when, when we walk in. Again, the four, full corrugation runs all the way down the side. Now, when this slide out slides out too, it has an awning over the top of it. Automatically does that. You do nothing with that. Now, I'll take you over here. You got your city water connection. So if you hook onto that, it has nothing to do with your water tank and just run off the city water. Uh, this is set up for a satellite system as well. And this will be for your, uh, and get it open here, for your uh, 110 wiring. Now this system is, um, this connection is for 120 volt, three pole. This is a 50 amp system. Now part of the reason we did 50 amp on this is it has dual air conditioners on it. Don't know if you noticed, didn't notice that, uh, to be honest with you. Let me step back right here and see if we can show them to you. Probably didn't notice them because of the uh, because of the uh, awning sticker. There you are. There you are. You can see that. Well, we're going to take you inside. Well, let me show you this too. While we're here. You want to carry fresh water for your horses? Right here's your spigot for that as well. Okay, Sean, let's go inside. Yes, take you in here. The first thing you're going to notice is this his and her entry. Okay, flat screen TV, uh, stereo system, and a fireplace. A working fireplace. Now, you may say, oh, that's over the top. But in reality, guys, that's 400 bucks. Okay, for $400, you have backup heat. If you run out of propane, or if you're paying rent, a uh, rental pad to set this on, you can shut your propane off, and this will heat this camper with, with this fireplace. Or if you just want to sit, sit at night and have friends over and just look cool, you don't have to have a heat, heat on at all. Now, Sean, we're going to talk about all these hardwood cabinets. There is no press board with vinyl wrap in these cabinets. You got storage there. You have storage here. Um, you know, the knobs. I'll get you up here. Hopefully, you can see that. 
I mean, it's just pretty cool. It's just pretty cool. Let's swing back over Sean's head here. When you come in, you got a really nice place to put your cowboy hat. Set that right over the top of that. Again, that's all, all hardwood. You got your entry steps here on both sides. Now step up here, show you this. Now you also have storage, nice storage over the tops of your windows. You have the soft um, curtains and you have the, the uh, really nice solid wood uh, valances and they're trimmed with a with an authentic and authentic uh, man-made uh, crocodile and you have your storage up over the, over the neck here over the nose okay now in this camera it's i'm seeing it looks like a little bit of a greenish tint this has not got a greenish tint this is all kind of a tan or buckskin color now notice up here these two vents right here behind this light let me see if I can shut this light off. Okay. Those vents right there, they're covered with wood. And those are that's because your air is ducted up here. And radio speakers. Okay, I think you can see all that. You're set up here on the back side. If you want to do, uh, if you want to add the extra television, it, it comes pre-wired for that. Okay, now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to show you the... the uh, couch that makes a bed plus it has you know real simple way to have access to this with with your real nice slide out massive drawers okay now you can see this again the real nice wooden valances with the gator inlay in it same way here so same way all the way across with your massive okay and then look here underneath the dinette as well and this dinette will also make into a bed this is going to seat four people and, and be real friendly with them. And this is going to seat three people. So this and, and this and your dinette will make it, make it into a bed and has all the seating. And then I'm going to spin around here on the other side. We've got, uh, okay, we've got a bar system set up here that actually shows the, uh, the slide out seating for that. You know, so you can see that. And I'm going to swing past Sean here. Okay, you've got stainless steel sinks, dual stainless and good deep sinks, a lot of counter space. So you can see there, you can see here, recessed countertop here with your uh, with your recessed stove. Now this just not does not have just a microwave, but it has a convection oven as well. Swinger open here. That's pretty cool. Okay, now again you've got your more solid wood cabinets up here you have your drawer system down here now notice the uh, your your freezer up here okay and notice this is wood this is not a that this is not a sticker with wood grain on it so you got a nice freezer up on the top of this then you have a nice fridge in the bottom of this it's also gas and propane then to the right side of this if you look at this, this is all adjustable. So you can adjust these shelves however you want to do it. If you want to make a hanging closet out of it, you can do that as well. Okay, and then you come here. More pantry storage as well. Okay, then we're going to spin around here. You've got a really nice mirror on this side right here. Your walls are all soft touch. Now all that means is, is you know, if something gets splattered on it, you can take you can take a wet sponge and just wipe it down. Okay, your bathroom is going to be the same way. Now, this is a really nice, really nice size bathroom. I'm going to spin around here. I'm going to show you the size. Big double mirror in this. Most of them have one little tiny mirror and one and one tiny sink. This is this is pretty big, guys. I mean, two people can get ready in here at one time. Okay, then storage there. Okay, and here, here's a cool thing right here. Look at this, guys. This is a cedar lined closet. And I mean, this is big. I'm standing inside the closet in here. It's a place you hang clothes. Got a really nice, look like about a 12 inch deep shelf. And then you come down here, you got more hanging closet underneath it. Very, very well thought out. Very well thought out. Nice closing door, pass through door into the horse compartment. Uh, all your walls in here in this bathroom are also soft touch, easy taken care of, wiped down. There, there's, there's your stool. 
Okay, then you're going to come here. Uh, got your sky dome over the top of this. Nice adjustable shower head on this. I mean, this is a nice big shower. Uh, all frosted glass. Yeah, that frosted glass, that's pretty cool. I mean, everybody wants to take care of this stuff, but boy, when you put that clear glass on it, every water speck shows up. This this stops that. Okay, now I'm going to step you back here and show you from the back side of this. We're stepping into the horse compartment. Okay, come in here. See all the pads, everything how this is set up. Got your fender here. It's got a real nice angle on it. You know, a lot of them are just square and flat, and it causes problems. This is this is beat off really well. Okay, I'll go back and take you, kind of show you the distance in this as we step through here. Okay, come through here, show you all around here. I mean, this is brand new for 2016 from Murhow, one of the leaders in the in the horse trailer industry. Look up here. This is this is the the bottom side of your air conditioners. Again, this is all solid wood. Solid wood here. This is another solid wood piece here because it does have the dual air conditioners. I mean, when you look at this, guys, uh, what you'd normally look at here just see a piece of white plastic. This looks this looks much nicer. And look at this floor. Isn't that just pretty cool? That's just pretty cool. Anyway, this is Rick with Cowtown USA. Give us a call. Ask for Sean or ask for Rick. Uh, Cowtown USA in Cuba, Missouri. 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. Or CowtownUSAInc.com. CowtownUSAInc.com. Uh, we've got this one. We just got it in. we got some discounts. I think... Um, I mean, we sold probably close to 100 trailers this year. We've got a couple uh, of leftover 15s that will, will have some heavy discounts, and, and they'll be comparable to this trailer. So if you give us give us a call, 573-885-6300, 573-885-6300, uh, and again, ask for Sean or ask for Rick. Thank you.